Hey everyone, so today it's an exciting day. Today's the day we're going to release the four mambas that I've caught this week. Um, so I've got some friends from UKZN coming to help me. Uh, we're going to microchip them, measure them, weigh them, sex them, and then we're going to go for a long drive and release them away from people. The microchip is not a tracking device, unfortunately. It's just to see if we ever recapture that snake, we'll know, and we'll know its history. We'll know where it was caught, where it was released, um, how much it's grown, stuff like that. So it's very interesting. Um, the GPS tracker, we don't have. If anyone would like to sponsor one, you're very welcome. <laughs> but uh, for now, it's just the microchipping. And we've so far, we've learned a lot about black mambas through the microchipping project. Um, we've had quite a few recaptures, to be honest. Uh, and it's taught us a lot. Um, in fact, a lot of my research has, has taught us a lot, so it's been really cool. I enjoy it. It's uh, yeah, I, I really enjoy the research side of things. But today, it's always nice to see snakes go free. Snakes that could have been killed. Um, so yeah, it always gives you a bit of a good feeling. Okay, so here are the four, the four black mambas. Um, I had them in enclosures, and then last night I put them in these buckets already for while processing and then releasing um, all of them are hiding under the pa oh no not that one there you can see that one's hiding away I think it's a bit early in the morning for it, it hasn't quite woken up yet You can ignore the names I write on them. It's not, this one's not from Seaview or Mosley. Um, sometimes when I have a few mambas like this, I'll write on them just so I remember who's who. Although, luckily for now, I think I can remember who's who. No, I can. <laughs> um, yeah, this one's made a bit of a mess since last night, which isn't great. But <laughs> slippery mamba, it looks like he's going to be. In fact, this snake we did process. But while we were doing that, I noticed a really nasty injury on it. I did notice it when I caught it, but I didn't think it was too bad. But when we were processing it, I, I saw that it needed veterinary attention. So, yeah, we took it to a vet, got it fixed. Um, the vet's at Dangerous Creatures, at a shark in SeaWorld. Um, and it's been getting antibiotics, but it should be good to go free now. It's strong. Um, actually handled handled it last night, so it's it's I reckon it's definitely fine to go free. Okay, so these are the microchips. They the same microchips that people put in their dogs and cats. So as I say, it's not a tracker. It's just to see if we ever recapture that snake. So really helpful, really helpful. Um, Verbeck have been really good to me over time. They sponsored me a lot of microchips and this nifty scanner. So it saves me from going to a vet and scanning it every time. So I've got a scan and as you can see, I've written my name and number just in case it gets lost. And yeah, it's it's been really valuable stuff for our research this. So I'm very grateful to be back. Thanks, man. Nice. Good. Thanks, man. I need to come a bit forward. Okay. There. Enough. Yeah. If he, hang on. Yeah. If he inches out a bit, there. That's... No, that's right because his neck is. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah? 194. 194, okay. Just shy too. No. And three. 
Nothing. How's this stick explain? So the probe's not really going anywhere, so that's a female. If it had to go far, it would be a male. So this is a female, a little female. So the microchip's just under the skin. It's 2.2 kilos, minus 1.4, the bucket weight. So he's 800 grams. 800, okay, 800 grams. Eight. Is it going to fit? It's a very twisty mom, but it's not a nice one to hold. 237. 237. No, none of them. Okay. Two point six minus one two five. Two point six minus one two five. Okay. So when they're shedding, they're a bit more grumpy mm. and they're a bit more difficult to hold on to because they can't see so well. Makes them more defensive. That milky blue, that's how we know it's gonna shed its skin. The mouth never changes color. <laughs> Using a tube really helps. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, the tube's quite nice. Eh? You know, life again. No, I might as well save it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Just checking. No. no time. This one was caught in a rural part of Inanda, so. Wow. And now you can see what we do with the black mambas that I catch. I don't sell them, I don't kill them, like some people have asked in the past. Don't know why I'd do that. Um, I don't just go and drop them at the end of the road that I've caught them in. Um, we release them and we don't release them all in one place. Um, it, it just wouldn't make sense. So we drive around all to different areas releasing them. And we don't microchip them 
and go and release them next to homes. I don't want to catch them again. Uh, we try and take them far from people. So yeah, we don't want them caught again. Okay, if you'd like to contribute towards our research, which is trying to understand and help conserve Durban's black mambas, um, you can phone me if you need a black mamba removed. If you have a sighting of a mamba and you've got a photo or video of it, you can send that to me. Um, anything involving black mambas, you can just let me know and that would help us a lot. Thank you.